The new River North Cocktail Bar, Bar Goa, is bringing a tropical beachy vibe. Chef Sehil Sethi joins us now from our Studio 41 kitchen to show us how to make prawn bao chow. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. Bao oh, chow. fantastic. Awesome. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you for having us over. You guys are brand spanking new to yes. Chicago. Just a couple of weeks, hoping, yeah. yep. How How's are things going? going? Everything is good, smooth as of now, so we're getting everything. <laughs> so we got two locations open um, in a week's time. So we had the bar go at Hubbard, 116 Hubbard, that opened. Uh, and then we had timeout location opening up a week after that. So 4th October was our official launch date for timeout market. Um, I think it's been exciting from there on. So it's good to have all that thing happening right now with the year that we had. So. I That's, think it's good to settle back in. This Wonderful. Is true. So prawns, we love yeah. prawns. So yes. what is about chow? Balchow is a go in Portuguese uh, spice blend. Basically, we use a lot of spices. So go in Portuguese. Portuguese influences uh, when they came and invaded uh, Goa part of uh, India, which is the west part of India. Uh, they brought in chilies. We were always using black pepper before that. So as soon as they brought in chilies, a lot of spices or a lot of blends that people were eating took a total transition from using black pepper corn to red chilies. So we're gonna blend, start working on this. We have vinegar, so we're gonna use vinegar and soak the chilies in to hydrate them first. So these are Kashmiri chilies. They're gonna impart the color and the heat that we need. So what does the vinegar do for it versus? Yeah. So vinegar adds a little bit of, they use toddy vinegar, which is coconut-based vinegar. Uh, so they use that to balance out their dishes because coconut is, is a part of their diet. On, on. And then they, you make the fenny, which is the cashew-based fenny. So Goa is high on cashew production. So that stuff is used and it imparts that uh, acid to the whole dish. Mm. So while soaking this process, we're gonna start broiling our spices. So okay. we, put them in a medium heat pan. So I'm taking all the spices in a certain ratio. So good five grams of clove to 20 grams of black pepper corn. And this add, is just dry, you're just gonna this is just dry? dry, yeah. Okay. So the liquid part is gonna come from the vinegar that we have soaked the chili in. Okay. So same thing is gonna be blended together. And a cinnamon bark in this. Was that garlic? That so garlic, the cinnamon bowl? bark, okay. there's gonna be uh, black pepper corn and cloves, so we're gonna start broiling all of this together. That's a lot of garlic. That's a lot of garlic. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not smashed either, it seems like it's the whole clove. It's the whole clove because you're gonna blend it anyways at okay. the end of the whole thing. Oh, oh got it, okay. okay. Uh, I did see the basto blender over there. Yeah. That's yeah I thought he was making a drink. <laughs> I thought we were gonna have a, a tropical drink there. So tell us about Bargoa as you... So Bargo is more of a tropical beach vibe bar that we open, just to bring that coastal flavors in, into Chicago market. Uh, it's just basically based on a lot of coconut usage. The cocktails are, are paired out from local uh, vendors that we have. So Jinji is the gin that is produced in Goa. We have uh, uh, John Paul's single malt whiskey that's produced in Goa as well. So all these distilleries are in Goa. So we wanted to bring that culture back in Chicago to make sure that people know that Indian food is just not about curry, it's more beyond that all the stuff oh, yeah. that we have to offer. So, North Indian food, uh, coastal food, coastal belt covers everything from Arabian Sea to the Bay of Bengal. Okay. So the whole V-shaped thing that you see under the map of India, that's how the whole influenced cuisine is, because Portuguese people brought a lot of spices, India is known for spices, yeah. but again, that influences have shaped up the cuisine what it is today in Goa. Well, so, and you're saying spices, we're seeing a lot of spices, but you say this is not a super spicy dish. It's not a super spicy dish. Hmm. That's why we blend everything together into, and the coconut milk that we add, the fat, the fattiness that you get from coconut milk, plus the sweetness that you get from coconut milk, is gonna balance everything out. Okay. And we're using jaggery. So in case you want something spicier, of course, you can skip the part of not adding jaggery to the whole dish. Okay. But you can still have that subtleness of the spice, plus the sweetness from the coconut milk. So it becomes a whole right blend. So once this is done and our chilies are soaking, we're gonna blend everything together into the blender. And we'll showcase how the whole thing is done. How long would you so let those roast on the stove, yeah. typically? For a good one minute, one and a half minutes, oh, I would okay, say. Not very yeah, long. because you won't just want to release the natural oil from the spice that you're broiling. Mm -hmm. So in broiling, you're not eating any kind of fat to it. You're just broiling or roasting it in the pan, or you can throw this into the oven at like 300 degree Fahrenheit for slow roasting. Oh, I can smell some of the clove. Yeah, oh, me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So again, those flavors, once you broil them or roast them in the oven, releases a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do by cooking spices, because some of, some of us don't 
cook the spices right and we feel the, the sauce that we're making hasn't reached the flavor we want it to reach, so. Okay, I was like, how is that all gonna get mixed up? Okay, that's helpful. Okay. And all of it is gonna be ground up? We're gonna blend it together. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, okay. Because I was always worried about that cinnamon yeah, stick. Yeah, like, how's that all going to get ground It's going to blend it because you have already roasted the spices. Yeah. Okay. So with this whole thing blending, mm -hmm. I've made a smaller batch here. Okay. So the color is going to be a little different because the chilies haven't soaked right. Okay. But the batch that we brought, that's already made. The chilies have been soaked overnight. So we recommend soaking the chilies overnight so they macerate properly and get all the flavor in together. So that's how the whole sauce is going to look like. Mm, okay, fantastic. Now I think we should get cooking the sh shrimp or the prawns, depending on what you get around the grocery stores that you guys have. Are prawns bigger than shrimp? Prawns are bigger than shrimp, okay. yes. I thought that was just a fancy So name. we got the d wayne <laughs> D-shell prawns already, mm -hmm. so it's easier for us to consume and, and have it right now. Is this a quick dish to make once it's you've done all the make. spices? So once the spice blending is done, your base is ready, it's gonna be a quick one to make because oh, okay. most of the cooking is already done. Okay. And it's it's a good preservative because you have vinegar into it, ah. right? So vinegar preserves the whole sauce, you can use it in a week's time. If it's sitting in an airtight container in your in your cooler, in your refrigerator, that's gonna stay for a week, oh, or more, nice. than, more than a week sometimes. Okay, I think we got less than a minute here. Yeah. So. Are you just cooking the prawns then in yeah. uh, oil, what kind of oil? We're using canola oil in this. Okay. Yeah. So quickly we'll be just adding the prawns. You can manage the prawns with red chili powder, turmeric, salt, lemon juice. Okay. That's one step you can do ahead of time. And now how long do you cook prawns for? 30 seconds on each side, just okay. to get that color. And then from there on, cook it with the sauce. So you want, don't want the prawns to get overcooked. They usually just turn pink and curl, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, so you cook them before you add the sauce? Yes. Oh, okay. See, I would have thought you would cook them in the sauce in order for it to seep. That also can be done, but I, I always want to put that flavor into the shrimp when you're eating it because you're marinating that with turmeric, red chili powder, and a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. So just quickly, one tablespoon kind of sauce to it. You want the, the blend of spices that we made to cook for 30 seconds. So whatever stuff is not cooked while we're blending the whole process. It's gonna be cooked, and then from there on, once you start the initial bubble coming in, you're gonna add coconut milk to the whole dish. Ooh, Ooh that, yeah. Look at that. So again, you can adjust the heat level by adding more coconut or less coconut, depending on how you like it. Mm-hmm. And you let it cook. Oh yeah, that looks good. That does look delicious. And what would you serve this with, by itself, or do you? Do you use okay. rice or do you serve it with You can anything? have it basmati rice or you can have it with the goan rice, which is a broken rice. Okay. Uh, it's called the red uh, goan rice or you can have it with the bread, which is similar to pita. It's a Portuguese bread called poi. So the bakers in Goa are called podders, P-O-D-E-R-S. Uh -huh. So they, they make those goan breads. So well, it's always good. good to have it with a little bit of rice. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice just to bring a little well, bit of freshness to the whole now. dish. And a little bit of salt to balance the flavors and bring out more flavors out of this. It oh, looks fantastic, awesome. yeah. yeah. Chef, thank you so much for joining us. Thank we really you. appreciate it. Pleasure.